Let's go. Hey, y'all, this is Cameron Abels, and this is speech number two for Amy Morrison's class, 1315. And I'm doing a demonstration speech on how to style a horse. This, this is my horse stop. Oh, I'm sorry. And for my audience today, and he's also filming, uh, it's Randall Wilson. Show yourself. And uh, he'll be filming, but anyway. This is my nine-year-old uh, American Quarter Horse. Um, he's a gelding. Um, he's, he's a gray horse, obviously. Well, he's actually white. But. And we'll be saddling him today. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to... Brush his fur before you saddle him. I just got done riding him, so he's a little sweaty, but that'll be okay. He's got a brush here. You just kind of go with the with the grain of his fur. Just to kind of make sure that there's no irritation underneath the saddle. This is a saddle pad. This goes uh, underneath the actual saddle. This gives him a little bit of cushion from underneath instead of just having a hard saddle. It gives him a little support. And we're going to put it right along his back here, kind of center it, and put it about right even with his shoulder. He's Mr. Photogenic. And now, you're ready to put the saddle on. This is my saddle. This is a this is a roping saddle, and uh, I rope so. Just want to go up and over his back, nice and easy. Set it down. Kind of make sure the the pad which is underneath the saddle, is kind of square, kind of even on both sides with the saddle. And about two fingers um, behind the actual saddle pad. This here's the uh, the girth strap, and this is actually this can be your main way of holding the saddle on. And it connects to a little buckle here that goes underneath him, under his belly, kind of to the front of it. want to kind of loop it through. There's a little ring here that holds the top of it. You just want to kind of double it up and then put it back through the buckle again. And you don't want to get it too tight just yet because you're not quite done saddling, but this is always the first thing that you're going to do when you're securing your saddle. And this is called your back strap or your back your back girth. And, uh, this kind of holds the back end of the saddle down. And it's just got the same buckle top mechanism. Just kind of keep that loosely buckled for now. And this this is called a breast collar and this goes across the front of his chest and you'll secure this. It's also got a buckle on it. And this goes through the ring that holds your girth strap.
chest up. He also has got a middle part that will go through his chest, and there's a little ring up underneath the girth. It's kind of hard to see, but that will hook into this ring. There's a little, little snap on it. That will hold it to the girth. will keep it from moving up and down. Now the next thing we're going to do is, well, you can go ahead and tighten up everything now that you've got him pretty much fully saddled. Just want to make it kind of snug in the front, keep the saddle from moving anywhere. There's a little flap here that you could run your extra slack into. We'll also want to tighten up the back strap just to make it so it doesn't move in the back. The next thing you're going to want to do is put your bit on. This goes um, in the mouth and uses the reins here. This is what you're going to actually control his head with and stop him and all that good stuff. So you want to take one side of the rein off. There's a snap that holds these on to the bottom of the bit. You just want to kind of put it around his neck. And then you can take his halter off. This is called a halter. I don't think I've specified that. Want to take it. I take mine in my left hand and go around his nose. He's not a big fan of this, but you just want to kind of ease it between his teeth. And he'll kind of open up and then he'll take it. And then this goes around the ears or over the ears into the top of the neck. And some some headgear, some head stalls will have this little strap that just kind of makes sure it doesn't uh, come forward or anything like that. ready to ride. So this is my demonstration 